Wouldn't it be great if we had one app where you could fly your drone, capture your footage, and record all of your flight data so that you can keep track of your records, keep track of your gear, and make sure you're flying safely and responsibly? Well, Aloft Air Control, in a lot of ways, promises to do this. So, you may be wondering, as I was, how does this compare to the native DJI Fly app in terms of features and ability to control the drone while it's in the air. I couldn't really find a video anywhere on the internet about this, so I thought I'd make it. Let's get into it. First, why would we even want to compare these two apps? Well, I already use air control from aloft to plan my missions, to make lance requests for flights in controlled airspace, and keep track of my equipment use. So how many flights on my propellers, how many cycles on my batteries, stuff like that. Uh, I do use Air Control's manual flight recording to feed this data to my Aloft account during missions, but it's really tedious to have that two app workflow where you have to constantly switch back and forth between DJI Fly and Air Control uh, to turn the air control timer on and off when you're starting and stopping your flights and to remember to swap your batteries in air control when you're doing it actually on your drone. And so I thought, man, wouldn't it be great if I could just capture my media while capturing all of the flight data I need for my records in one app with no extra effort and no switching back and forth. Uh, I don't use some of the fancier DJI app features like quick shots and automated flight modes that often, so my required feature set for flying is more minimal, and I've flown in air control with other DJI drones, uh, so I assumed that for this drone it would be as simple as powering up and opening the app. So once I was out in the field, I decided to start by opening the DJI Fly app to check for updates to the hardware and software. And this is one of the reasons that really there's no way around it. You have to have the DJI app that's compatible with your drone installed on your phone. Because Air Control, as far as I can tell, is not able to update firmware, fly safe data, or any other kind of data on the drone. But if you've been able to update firmware through air control, let me know in the comments because that'd be a great hack for me. I'd love to know. Once all that finished updating, I decided to flip over to the air control app to start testing it out. However, when I opened it, I got a black screen. So I thought, well, maybe the camera only activates when it's in the air. Uh, so I tried taking off, but the props wouldn't turn over. And looking at the back legs, I saw those dreaded red blinking lights which means no takeoff allowed. So this is another reason you have to have the DJI app because I was attempting to take off an airspace within a DJI a geo zone and I needed to go back to DJI Fly to unlock the zone. Um, and this is an important note here. This is not the same as getting a lance approval for the airspace. You have to do both to ensure you're flying legally. So unfortunately, you have to request lance through air control, then unlock any geo zones with a DJI Fly app, then you're ready to fly. So it's kind of a pain. But once I did that, I got approved for takeoff. So I sent up the drone while I was still in the DJI Fly app, and then I tried to switch back to the air control app but I still got that black camera feed screen. Now, it's not totally disconnected. There's some communication happening between the drone and air control because I can see telemetry data, uh, low battery alerts, I can control the gimbal angle, I can switch between photo and video mode. All that stuff is working, but unfortunately, that's kind of as far as it goes. And I really tried everything. I turned the drone and controller on and off. I logged out of and back into air control. I made sure that DJI Fly was closed on my phone so that air control is the only drone app running. And nothing worked. Then in a flash of inspiration, <laughs> I decided to look at Aloft's troubleshooting tips on their website. And wouldn't you know it, the answer was in there. Cue the sad violins. 
So there you have it. If you own a drone that uses DJI Fly for its control app, unfortunately, you're stuck using two apps and two platforms if you also want the deep mission support and tracking features that Aloft Air Control has to offer. So, I mean, I'll, I'll keep using both because uh, they do two essential things very well. DJI obviously lets me actually capture my footage with all the granular control that I need. And a loft air control helps me keep records that help me fly safely and responsibly and take care of my gear. So I know this video didn't answer my original question and probably didn't answer your question the way that you wanted it to, but hopefully it helped you learn about the feature sets of these two apps. So get liking, get subscribing, check out my other videos, and I'll see you next time.